Gospel of January the 23rd, 2014 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, to Mark Jesus withdrew toward the sea with his disciples. A large number of people followed from Galilee and from Judea, hearing that he, what he was doing. A large number of people came to him also from Jerusalem, from Idumea, from beyond the Jordan, and from the neighborhood of Tyre and Zidon. He told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so that they would not crush him. He had cured many, and as a result, those who had diseases were pressing upon him to touch him. And whenever an unclean spirit saw him, they would fall down before him and shout, You are the Son of God. He warned them sternly not to make him known. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, this Gospel of Mark shows these innumerable scenes of beauty where the Lord is among his people. And we see how he went back to the Sea of Galilee with his disciples. And many people from all around that part of the world, all that knew what Jesus was doing, curing people, wanted to touch him. They wanted to see and touch him. Perhaps the rumor had spread that by touching him, people would heal. Now, all of those people were moved by their need. Either they felt or they had someone who was sick, or someone who was possessed, or perhaps they only had curiosity or wanting to feel better. The fact is that many, perhaps thousands of people were gathered around him, and they all wanted to touch him. It is a tender scene, but also a not very nice one, because those people wanted to satisfy themselves, wanted to have what they wanted, but they did not have any regard for the Lord himself. They wanted to touch him at whatever cost, no matter if they push him, if they um, tumble him, if they trample on him, they didn't care. There was a great need of love for them to the Lord because they did not have it. They could not see that he was not, not just a physician or just some sort of a magician. He was and he is something much greater, someone much greater. The demons were able to see him and that's why they shot, they shouted, you are the son of man, you are the son of God. But he rebuked them, he told them to be silent. He, the, our Lord, did not want the people to know him by that way. He wanted the people to get close to him, to hear him, to get to know him, and to start to love him wanting to take away from someone something that I want, whether he wants to keep it to me or not, is quite despicable. And that's perhaps the egoism that they had, that many of the people had. They just wanted to touch him. And he was there for, ever, for everyone. And he lastly resorted to asking for a boat and be on the boat so that they would not crush him. What does that scene tell us? I would like to propose to you today to search inside yourself. What are your deepest needs? We all are in need of good health, of peace. We all are in need of the light of knowledge. We all are in need of life, but especially we all are in need of love, to be loved, to feel loved. That is the deepest desire of the heart of a person. That's exactly what the Lord wants to give us. Now, 
along with that, we also have many troubles in our day-to-day -day life. Let us soul search within ourselves honestly and turn to our Lord Jesus and in a friendly chat talk to him and tell him what are your needs that is praying praying with someone who can answer to you do not expect to hear the voice of Jesus just yet he will answer to you in many ways but do trust me but especially trust the Lord that he will answer trust and confide in him because only he is enough for all our needs and remember that he is God Almighty all-knowing but especially all-loving loving you and me in a way that we can not even imagine may the love of God dwell in your in your hearts and mine and all of our brothers forever and ever God bless you all brothers